is uh, someone in the comment section please let me know the the sense or the the reasoning behind paying 67000 each and every month for one car 67000 rand for a vehicle we're not even talking of your fuel uh, whatever, whether it's using electricity or if uh, stuff like insurance and stuff you know would, would you justify paying 67,000 rand for a vehicle in modern day South Africa eh hey, guys uh, I don't know what to, 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 to say and you know you know where the danger is <laughs> anyways anyways uh, uh, given that option rather I would uh, buy uh, a Ford Figo myself I drive a Ford Figo uh, 2011 uh, model and for 67,000 rather I can buy each uh, uh, like one Ford Fico each and every month for the next five years and after those five years I already have uh, 60 cars and please don't ask me Uguti, why would I need 60 cars right but anyway guys in today's video uh, we're going to be covering this uh, vehicle that when I saw the price to me it was just something else so apparently this vehicle it's a Land Rover Range Rover P510e so it's a, a both a petrol and electric hybrid so I'm just gonna do a brief overview of the vehicle itself as you can see guys it's 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 a, it's a nice vehicle from the looks but does it justify paying more than 67,000 uh, K each and every month so yeah that's what we want to just cover so on overview so this vehicle it starts at uh, a three liter uh, petrol uh, electric hybrid and then you obviously it comes with five doors or so the transmission is automatic and then fuel consumption you're looking at uh, 1.6 liter for every 100 uh, kilometers uh, right so yeah i think it's it's reasonable uh, considering that it's a uh, petrol slash uh, hybrid so the current price for this vehicle guys Currently, it's uh, the recommended price is three million six hundred and eighty-nine thousand, right? So price so that's the recommended uh, retail price. But you know, when you go to dealerships, then they start adding these things, doni doni, and what what. You know, obviously, you won't pay that uh, same exact um, amount, right? And then on the engine side, uh, the power that it produces is about 375 uh, kilowatts which is uh, good considering the magnitude of, of this vehicle it's quite a huge vehicle and you need a lot of power for you to 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 move it around and for you to actually enjoy it and then like i said that uh, the engine size is a three liter and then in terms of torque it has uh, 700 newton meters of torque and then it comes with uh, six cylinders and then it is in a turbo charged and then uh, it's an eight speed uh, automatic right uh, and then it's an all-wheel drive all the time it's always an all-wheel drive and then we're looking at 0 to 100 uh, kilometers per hour in 5.5 seconds yeah uh, most of us normal people we don't really record ourselves when you're doing a zero to 100 uh, people and besides with all these potholes across our cities and all that uh, you, you 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 live to, to regret it if you try those things and then top speed we're looking at 242 kilometers per hour and then uh, of course if you're playing around that area you know that's basically an application to go to heaven there yeah guys so when it comes to the economy of the vehicle uh, it has a fuel tank capacity of 71 liters and then on average you will do uh, 1.6 liters uh, for every 100 kilometers and then when it comes to the fuel side remember i said it's uh, a petrol slash electric hybrid so when it comes to the electrical uh, side you do about 125 kilometers and then uh, when it comes to safety uh, it's it's pretty obvious obviously with a, a car of this 
um, structure you obviously have your ABS, EBD, brake assist, traction control, stability control, driver airbags and all that and then the vehicle comes with uh, six airbags which I feel like uh, they are not uh, that many I think it uh, for me it should have more than you know eight or ten airbags they should be putting uh, safety at the highest highest uh, priority but anyways it's, it's 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 that they decided to give us only to to give the vehicle only six airbags and then it comes when it comes to warranty and then so the vehicle comes with um, five years of uh, vehicle warranty and then it is also an ATA hybrid uh, battery so uh, I wonder if that battery would actually last you for, for, for eight years you know because obviously it will depend with your driving habits and all that and then warranty distance we're looking at uh, 100,000 kilometers and then maintenance it's uh, also five uh, years with 100 kilometers and then uh, the vehicle uh, pretty obvious service intervals indicator uh, to show you when the vehicle should be taken for uh, service and then extra features that the vehicle comes with uh, electric windows both front and at the back and then you've got your power uh, steering and then central locking cruise control uh, central locking is keyless and then cruise control is adaptive and then you get your air conditioning climate control bluetooth and then you've got quite a number of usb ports that you can connect your devices uh, you know navigation and then sunroof it has got a sliding panoramic roof and then it has also uh, xenon headlights and then adaptive uh, headlights as well uh, high beam assist and all that uh, front fog rear fog auto lights on and off electric folding windows rain sensors uh, alloy wheels and then the vehicle it will be sitting on 23 inch rims uh, for both the front and the back and then you can opt for 22 inch as well it will still uh, work properly and then uh, distance park distance control obviously front and back they are there and then camera for park distance control rear view for for the back and then also surrounding and then when it comes to uh, the vehicle itself obviously leather seats um, and then the length and all that so you've got different measures i have I, I won't really give uh, go into the length of the vehicle because no one really cares about uh, how long is this vehicle and whatnot and whatnot but yeah guys so if if we look at this vehicle at this price of three million six hundred eighty nine thousand uh, is the retail price and if you are to get it on credit uh, taking into consideration the current 9.75 uh, prime lending rate if we include it on that it means that the total amount that you would pay over a period of um, the total amount that would be four million and forty eight thousand and if you divide that by 60 months which is five years you get somewhere roughly sixty seven thousand so that's where the sixty seven thousand is coming from so guys uh, let me know what you think in the comment section for me personally i, I don't think i would spend that much money on on one vehicle uh it's it's, it's just too ridiculous uh you know i i believe i can even get like a, a, a cheaper version or probably a chinese version of <laughs> Of, of this vehicle with all those nitty gritties because yeah i we were just buying the name jay we we're just buying the name so guys let me know what you think in the comment section and yeah see you in the next one